Hi, Sam Tober, South of Joy Music Services. And we're not doing necessarily a song today or a viewer request right now. We're just going to do some freestyling chords. I'm sitting down to the keyboard for the first time today, so I haven't even warmed up properly. But I want to be freestyling some chords. I'm going to select some different songs. I won't call their titles out so I can avoid any copyright uh, infringements. But you will hear some of those chords as I just run them through my head. I've got the Cordy app in the key of C. I have my keyboard piano set to, uh, I have it set to Mellow Grand piano because I, I love that sound. I think I can Sorry about that. I do a reset on my microphone. This is the keyboard or the workstation keyboard that I work with, the Yamaha S70X. I have it set to the Mellow Grand sound. It has a bite yet a nice metal feel also. up yet so you're getting an idea how I get my my ears and my fingers prepared I'm trying to get the camera to do something here we go as you can see I each note gets a full strike I go that way that way as long as I hit the notes that I'm aiming for And that's my full scene there. So it says free style chords. Just getting the fingers limbered up. Left hand, of course. And get them both limbered up together. Of course, these are chords that I have used over the years, so I can pull them out depending upon what I what I happen to be doing. Um, if I were again looking at a very basic song like "Mary Had a Little a Lamb," I can look at that melody and know that in that melody I have chords. just maneuver the chords around the keyboard. Turn around.
woods. Uh, again, broken scales. If I'm gonna do a a minor, connotation of chords then I'm gonna work on the minor scales minor but C minor is also E flat major depending upon where you start the first note so any chords in E flat major I can use in C minor I think this is one of the secrets that a lot of musicians, the skilled musicians, hide from the newer musicians. They won't tell them the secrets to where they find their chords. They're finding them in alternate scales. The whole scale. That's that scale you hear. I use an offsuit of that. That's how I get that transition from I know musically where I want to go I predispose of what chords and in, in some cases what runs I want to use to get me there now I'm sort of mimicking the song our God is an awesome God because that gives me the the ability to use the minor uh, the minor chords scale the minor family scale it's chords found in the minor scales scale nice jazz chord You'll see the Cordy app giving you all these chord names. I could never name them, but thanks to electronics, you can see what this chord is called. Even though it's because D minor is the lowest note. 
The minute I add an, another note below this note, everything changes. Classical, classical chords. G. No, E flat to G. E, e D to G. So, and these are a combination of chords that I've learned over the years. I've learned so many songs it's easier for me to pick and choose depending upon where I want to go so I don't get hit with a copyright on that song another, uh, another set of classical chords If you're familiar with the chord numbers, one, let me see, um, two, five, one, two, five, right? No, three, five, two, two, three, four, five, flatted. So we're still in the two. We're, we're in um, B flat to the four, one. the intricate stuff that goes around. I kind of like B flat because it's it's sort of putting me in um, uh, in like it's like being in E flat. For those who love to get the get the church riled up. Preacher chord lovers, I'll give you some of the chords I used to use in my reading to preacher chords. And I did this on the piano. speed there's 
an old saying, if you learn how to ride a bike, you never really forget. Even though I don't do this anymore. A lot of this I developed back in the 80s. Uh, Benny Cummings and stop by. Again, chords are just an offshoot of practicing scales. So I've been kind of hanging around B flat after I came out of C, went into C minor, some of E flat. If I go to G flat, another song using similar chords like that I'm going to try and gospelize those changes that 6 to the 4 to the 1 to the 5 I'm going to try and gospelize it copyright strike because somebody is using those chords in a song and I've just infringed on it. So we switch it up. Now all these chords are found not just in one scale but in every scale. It's incumbent to know every scale, all the chords in those scales, so as you're playing anything that's going to land you in that accompanying, what I call cousin scales, you just borrow. You, you say hi. I'm in this key, but I'm in, but I'm in G flat. That's the chord I'm on. train coming out of there my passing corner is going to be a seven Just give me to the to the B but then I want to change up and borrow borrow this note why because it sounds nice and it's also a B major seventh now I'm in the five which is going to take me to D flat or in this case C sharp if you want to see C sharp lovers. Uh, 
I love doing that. Back two, turn around. It's um, not a secret, and I try not to keep secrets from the musicians who are on this channel, who I'm trying to share every bit of what I've learned from playing or listening to other albums. The drop two is not a secret. You're just following down notes. who don't like E major. which is like playing in G major. It's about knowing where your notes are. Now that you know where the notes are, you can borrow the chords from those chords. Taking a suit D flat or C sharp minor. And you, and you play in this key all the time. Come out of it, back into the, into the chord. And go back to the back to that cycle of chords again, which are found in every key, just knowing where the minors are and where the majors are and when to apply them. Remember this chord? There's only it's only only two there's only two scales like this one, but look away but look where you can use them. There it is. 
So yes, learn some of your minor songs. Go listen to some ge uh, generic classical music and learn how those chords sound, number one, where they're found. Um, there we go. Where they're found on the scale and then practice those chords that'll, that'll get you into them. Now, those are those the only chords there are? Of course not. There's the we all like to do the, the, the gospel bounce. left hand trained exercises that I've practiced over the years. Now they may seem like they're mindless in one sense, but you find yourself, one, at one time you find yourself in a situation musically where you just might want to use that change. a song for another time. I'm going to bring this to a close again. If I, if I shared anything that can assist you in becoming or learning a different technique and to apply to what you're, uh, what you're currently doing, that is my purpose. Again, Sam Tolbert, Sound of Joy. Music services make a joyful noise unto the Lord. <laughs>